just quite a leap. I want to go back and talk about the Land Institute some more, too. Uh, your, your mention of your book, Man in the Environment, and how you came to put together that collection of, of uh, interesting readings, very uh, diverse from, from Yeats to, um, to Jackson. Yeah. Well, I, I was fresh out of the South and the Civil Rights Movement mm -hmm. uh, from 64 to 67 in Raleigh. Mm -hmm. Where you were uh, getting your PhD. Where I was doing the PhD work. And uh, uh, one day I saw, I heard, saw and heard Martin Luther King and at the same time a, a Ku Klux Klan demonstration. All in the same day? All in the same day. Rather impressive. And uh, of course the South was still not really, was still very much segregated, mm -hmm. but civil rights was a big thing. Also the Vietnam War was heating up. And um, uh, then uh, it was a time in which students were calling for relevancy. Mm -hmm. They said we need to be more relevant. So I came back to teach my classes at Kansas Wesleyan, teaching the general biology class, students wanting more relevancy, so I promised to weave in more relevant material. I'm not sure it was entirely a good thing to do, but anyway, I did it, and I, so I clipped, and I tore, and I Xeroxed, and I filed, and there was this uh, emerging stack of uh, materials that had to do with population, resource depletion, and environmental destruction, pollution. Uh, so um, it seemed as though there was an, the makings here for a reader. Uh, and so uh, William C. Brown approached me, I, I think they approached me, yeah, I believe they approached me, and um, uh, so I came out with Man in the Environment, which I was told, I didn't know at the time, was about the first environmental reader. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's exactly right, but <clears throat> at any rate, it sold pretty well. and. Um, but that made me more of an environmentalist, say, than a geneticist, um, although my passion was still genetics. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what got me hired at Cal State Sacramento. On were, the strength of, of man in the environment? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. Did you have a text there, or did you use man in the environment? I used man in the environment, and then it went into the second and third edition, and I just got tired of it, and I think people got that was enough. They didn't need mm -hmm. any more of that kind of of reading. Mm -hmm. Also, I was involved in the Land Institute by the third edition. Mm -hmm.